بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين أما بعد Thank you very much for everyone who is attending with us this section and uh, special thanks to Algeria 2.0 teams for their efforts and for their invite we really appreciate what they are doing and especially such events it's something really we want to see it quite often so I hope that uh, we will enjoy our time we are having around 45 minutes so please be with us I hope it will be a very good enjoy you will have more information you will learn quite a lot especially we are going to talk about digital thinking which is something like you know is the timing for it uh, overall the world is like how you say everything we can see it is digital and wherever it's going you can hear about this world so thank you very much guys again and please 45 minutes is quite long so please prepare your coffee like i'm doing a uh, bottle of water as well and also uh, if you understand what i'm saying or you're having some questions please just like you can just note it and we will reply to you of course our team they are there we will reply to you uh, if any questions that we are not able to answer immediately for sure we will come back to you as well uh, anyone who need more maybe introduction in Arabic or in French or whatever you can just like ping me on the message as well and I will do my best to help you we have choose English you know to be with the same with the term which it is digital thinking and I believe like it can help us a lot okay so thank you very much again let's start inshallah so we we'll start with uh, some introduction just like for how you say break the ice and then we'll uh, go for the digital thinking what is it exactly we will understand the meaning of that one uh, and the concept of this digital thinking and later on we will go also about the framework principles then we move to the future which it is like you know something because is not stopping here is going for the future and that's why we are speaking about it right now then i like it to close our presentation with the world cup of qatar as you know i am here in qatar and we could see really digital it everywhere okay so let's take some examples let's see what they are doing and this is also like you know is very good timing for that okay perfect now we will go for the next slide for the break ice who is amin <laughs> right so uh, my name of course like i said ben said i mean i am a telecom uh, manager uh, i'm working with one operator in qatar so we are doing about a lot of things in the telecommunication including the IT because now it became IT is everywhere like uh, every domain and of course telecommunication is not like uh, like how is it the classical telecommunication it was only about to take your phone and call as 2G and everything now it's changed totally especially with the new technology 5G so <clears throat> we can see the IUT is everywhere and we start to use like uh, it became the basic the telecommunication and it's helpful so much so the country without good telecommunication infra uh, for sure you will not be able to go with the world change uh, in the meantime like i say i'm the founder of uh, one company skyla digital solutions in algeria uh, it's like more than one year we are there in algeria unfortunately we came with uh, the covid 19 so but of course we are having a lot of solutions they are also in place and we hope that we'll have like i say more things coming in the future uh, just a small presentation about my studies my background so i don't know if i can make it just here because just one that one is behind i will remove it okay just a moment so of course uh, just to say that I am coming from the University of Tlemcen, which I'm proud of, like uh, all the Algerian with their universities. Uh, I am, like I say, let's say I finished my studies around 2005, and since that timing, I had a lot of, like I say, positions, continue working with Huawei, with Alcatel, with, uh, how you say, with uh, Ericsson. And also, like I had some more experience also in IT security, but it was abroad. Uh, it was in Europe then I had also more telecommunication domain 
So some of my certificates, like I got it during my work in Alcatel with the Sonic Wall for the IT, which it is uh, became now uh, how you say Dell, Cisco as well. Uh, we had a lot of like how you say studies during this uh, how you say journey. Uh, Prince 2, which it is for the project management. We had like also some uh, Huawei uh, ICT uh, Academy where we really learned a lot, like uh, how you say, in this academy, which is wonderful. And I hope other people they can have also some experience there. And at the end, also, like recently, there were some, like I say, about Agile, as it is like, you know, everywhere now we know that Agile has become something really interesting and everyone he needed. And I'm encouraging from here that everyone try to have really such certificates, which is very good. And as the last, like, uh, it was very good for me. I had two, uh, let's say, training with Mahad uh, Al-Arabi Lit Tadrib al Buhud Ihsaiya. Uh, so this one is in Kuwait and we had a really very good uh, training there there were one it was about how to build a business uh, from scratch and we learned really a lot in the business so this is just like I said very high level about uh, my background uh, the most important now we are here for digital what is digital thinking uh, anyone know what is exactly like can you just write to me on the chatting uh, some words? What do you think, guys? What it can be this digital thinking? Especially we know digital, we know thinking, but digital thinking, uh, I think, I don't know if this term is like so much used, like I said, in Algeria, uh, but I would be so happy if you can write, guys. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Great, so just like I said to go, we can say digital thinking, we can say it in four words, okay? It can be more, I'm not saying that it's only here, but the most important is four words. So digital thinking, it means innovation, okay? And we will see the details about innovation. Transformation, where if you will go guys, in even online in internet and you can check on Google, you will find many times we found digital thinking transformation. So it's like has very strong relation with the transformation okay and of course digitalization and virtualization so virtualization it's something you just came recently and I believe like a lot of people who are now in IT they know it and this is something it became like mandatory for our future in fact even now is present okay so let's go one by one okay innovation <laughs> I believe this is very good uh, Thing that we want everyone who remember those devices I don't know like with all who are presenting here with us or even like I say online on Facebook uh, so guys you can write it who remember this and especially especially the thing what I like it is how to lock this one uh, I'm sure that how is it this is it was very funny for the people who lived in this timing how we are locking our phones okay with some lock <laughs> Uh, maybe I'm not that old, but me, I reached like how you say at the end of this, like the use of this phone, which it was amazing also. This like device here, me, myself, I was not there. Uh, but I'm sure like how you say other people, maybe they are with us also like they were leaving this. But you can imagine guys, uh, from there where we are, take it like this one. It's always we take that from where you start to where we are now and where we are going. Okay, and you will see it so much about this. I will not use it as like standard, which it is past, present and future, which is everywhere. We have to look about this every, let's say, per year, per month, per week, per, per center. So we should see it always. Okay, now let's come back to our slides. So I like really someone to help me about this. Uh, the innovation in the phone. Innovation in the phone, it was a really wonderful journey it was in place. And I'm sure all the people who are with us, like how you say here, they they got like how you say somewhere. Uh, for sure not maybe until here, because this is very recent. We are talking about the iPhone. But please guys, just feel free. I uh, make it in numbers. If you can tell me where exactly you joined this technology. Uh, is it from 5, which it is uh, Nokia 3310? Uh, I am like I say somewhere is here okay I'm somewhere here 
where it was something like amazing for us to have like 30 treats and and i believe a lot of people they were enjoying that timing where it was the first time because here we were not able to get it it was something like very expensive no one can think about it especially in algeria like in 1995 i think 1990 so no one was like uh, it was too expensive okay but uh, i believe from us in algeria like it started somewhere here but of course please guys go ahead and uh, please just write which number you are like how you say you joined the the, the technology okay and uh, yeah you are right right true so guys this is like how you say as we can see the innovation innovation is always we don't stop even we are here right now and this is the present this is the past what is coming in the future even we can starting to see it now as like how we say uh, which it is for sure going to the virtualization where no need to speak about telecommunication now it became something is not only to contact someone as i mentioned in the beginning now it became telecommunication something totally different uh, with 5g and also 6g which is coming a bit later uh, i'm sure like how you say a lot of people they are already preparing for that one and it's amazing i have seen just like you know some concept building they are just like uh, some research like how you say companies they are working on that but the 5g uh, itself it gave us a lot of things to do it especially with uh, like a latency of one millisecond and a lot of things so it's like really for the machines now we are more like telecommunications start to focus about the machines use and how to like make our life is totally different so i'm really so much excited for the future i hope you are like me but uh, be sure guys what is coming after 20 maybe 2020 uh, which it was catastrophic for all the world with covid 19 uh, i believe this from 2020 to 2030 is something amazing there will be a lot of work there so inshallah we will be still alive and that we can do a lot of that so this is like about innovation innovation will be never stopped like people they are always thinking about the use and we are not like they are not even thinking about what is the need now they are thinking about how can we drive the people for the new needs this is the difference so i took just those examples but there is one of the the best example is about the cars you can see the cars how they were in 1990 or even earlier how they are now how they are going later on so it's always they are pushing the people to go to them it means that we are our needs is just the car to move from here to here but the car uh, like how you say producers the companies they are always creative they are always innovative they are like innovation the innovation didn't stop with them really every time you have something new something you don't know you don't even think about it so this is the innovation it's not like just what you need directly it's about to innovate something where even maybe the people they don't need it but when they see it yes they will adopt it this is the, the this is the, the right understanding okay now we come back to the transformation who is concerned as you can see the picture that i have choose it's clearly showing how we are moving from traditional equipment to a digital equipment okay so traditional equipment there were like four like chain of production there were a lot of like say workers uh, many things to do big equipment uh, you can imagine guys there are even i think still some companies there like this in time but the problem is like how you say now who is concerned is everyone everyone is concerned with the digitalization transformation to digital okay so and we will see it later on if you don't like how you say to to adapt or to you want to transform it, your company or your needs or whatever this is i took it as a big example for the how you say companies but of course there is b2b there is b2c there is like a lot of solutions where we have to think about it even don't go so far isn't even about our home okay inside our house uh, like you know maybe for yourself uh, just moments like how you say a year ago we were not even thinking about the training online and i believe a lot of people they didn't like even think about it now it is it became normal no need to speak about the studying like in the schools so now it's most of the countries they have adopted this uh, solution to have like a e-learning okay and schools like how you say from home and everything so this is very good uh, but we were not ready this covid 19 in fact it has of course a lot of negative okay we will not speak about the negative here but let's think about it from the other side 
I believe it was something where it pushed the people to adopt those digital solutions and especially for more than 80 people they were against the digitalization even in the companies like how you say no company was accepting people to work from home now we can see a lot of people working from home so this is transformation guys this is transformation so it means that we have adopted this thing we try to uh, transform it let's say we were using the classical way so that every worker should come to the company to use the laptop which it is something crazy now you don't have to spend even that timing in the transport you just stay in your home you wake up from your bed and you start to work right which it is like i say a lot of things also it stopped for us even the geographical problems now you are maybe in algeria working for another company abroad and this is become really quite often like i say over all the world so this is good a chance for us we have of course just to will have to have like some good internet because this is something like very important which it is coming like how you say uh, like even i mentioned before if you remember guys i said telecommunication where it's something always big part for any transformation or going to digitalization so we hope those operators they really work hard they give i'm sure that they are doing a lot okay uh, i know that's how we say we are outside we don't know what is inside the companies how much they are taking what is the investment inside you know it's quite a lot guys uh, really don't think that it is just like very cheap and bring some equipment but let's come back to our subject so <laughs> so not go far, very far so our house uh, here like we said who is concerned we are all concerned everyone from the house the let's say not say the child which we talk about from 15 and go on because this is something else about less than 15 but of course it's going to touch everything in every part in our life so we have to be aware about that and what is the steps this is something very important <laughs> so you cannot just jump like this okay you will not be able just okay today i woke up i will have like transformation go to digitalization no there are a lot of steps we have to follow it up okay i will try to explain it later on but one one thing it's very important and be sure about it guys in the steps first you should have the let's say the the thinking okay so we start from thinking think digital what does it mean think digital it means that what what is like how you say the things that we can make it digital so we start let's say from the process if i am company i will start from the process where the things they are repetitive okay then i can make it as this is digital i don't need like some people to make the same thing what is the existing solutions inside what can we let's say create because you don't have also to create something similar to what is existing uh, let's do something okay you can start from that guys we call it like how you say always start from the steps of others okay and one of the biggest example is china they had never start from the past they didn't start from creating let's say the cell phone from the scratch they started from the steps of others which it is like how you say we call it reverse like how you say uh, i forgot the word uh, reverse uh, invention reverse something like this one sorry guys i will find this word okay anyway so we have to get from the steps of the others we have to know like how we can go but of course we should respect the how you say the property of others and we have to be more creative and innovative as we said before and as a company or as a person we have to accept the transformation so if you don't think about it and you don't accept it you will never go okay uh, there are lots of companies I know they just started let's say the uh, formal words about digitalization because digitalization is not only words it's not only just you say okay today I'm like how you say uh, digital no it's not like that one there are a lot of steps you have to do it there's a lot of uh, huge work that it should be inside okay we will see also more steps like for on the slides coming later on and then are you ready this is the most also important are you ready guys who are like how is it with us here so use always starts from your mind okay if you don't think like digital you will never go so now ask yourself am i ready to go to be digital am i really ready if you say yes then of course that means just yes is worse yes it means that you put the point what i'm going to do what i have to do it okay so that's really good uh let's what is about digitalization digitalization is a shift from manual process to digital process 
okay as you can see this is clearly that you need to move from manual process to digital process and i believe the picture next to us we can see it clearly like uh, if you remember the cars how they were before i believe they are still existing but it was everything like how i say manual but now as you can see it's the new cars mainly they are coming with the automatic for everything it's starting from the gear from the radio from a lot of things the ac a lot of okay so think always about this one what can you change as we spoke before okay and now digitalization is creating a culture of using technology to run a business and this is very very good word is about the culture okay so i'm saying here culture because i'm sure that there are a lot of people also with us there which they are having already the company guys the digitalization starts from you okay you only because this is an investment digitalization is not just something for free it's an investment investment in the time investment in the money investment in the in the behavior of the people investment in every level okay so that's why i'm saying if you are ready it means that if you are ready then you will take the right steps to go with the process of digitalization and digital thinking it means that you will take the parts put it like i say in process then you will go process by one by one and you will start to move it and be sure later on maybe you will invest some like how you say time and money and everything right now but let's see what is the benefit after one or two years okay and you will see a huge difference and don't make yourself like i say like other companies which they were waiting until covid 19 is came and they shut down the doors okay so we should not think like that one and i'm sure everyone with us here he has like a lot of experience on that one okay now digitalization transformation the outcome is an agile agile uh, organization ready to adapt the rapid evolution of the technology so you can see guys uh, if you remember in the beginning when i started about agile Scrum and agile method uh, how you say framework so this is the way how we should be is always thinking about like how to be agile how the company can behave a agile way how can we let's say reduce the cost in some different way where i can invest in that in the other things okay so this is the the right understanding for that sorry guys if i'm going just a bit fast like i'm saying uh, just let me know also you can just put the points how you say in the chatting virtualization okay so this one how you say uh, always this the word of virtualization now it became always has a relation with cloud so you can see like how you say even the data centers is always with the cloud uh, if there are some people who are specialized here in data centers 100% uh, and the servers 100% they were talking only about the cloud now because most of the companies they are like just looking about the clouds like how to move and the benefit of this one is very huge like there is a lot of like how you say good things I don't say that there is not uh, let's say disadvantage but it's very minimum let's be fair it's really minimum okay comparing with the, the advantage what this technology has given us from economical which it became really uh, the cost uh, let's say uh, it became one because the good things it became agile how to use the same resources uh, existing resources for multiple purpose where before we had to make a lot of servers only for one purpose okay the efficiency of course it became very efficient uh, revolution we moved from something that it was very limited a uh, lot of servers for one thing now it's become a huge revolution there is a lot of domain they are using this the flexibility which if i don't know like the suspicious people they can really say it's so now you can give uh, 1g 2g 3g whatever server you want it from the same okay you can adapt it you want to let's say to go from 1g to 10g it's very easy just matter of setting and halas okay the security that uh, before there were a lot of huge investments in every server I have to make security now it's become this one fully secured because the method is totally different of course the security also it has been uh, let's say enhanced and uh, became much better than earlier disaster recovery uh, this is something I don't know if you know it guys but one of the let's say the cauchemar or everyone he needs to think about it anyone who has data centers okay even like sometimes you don't have even data center you have just like application but you should always be sure about you are having the mechanism for uh, disaster recovery reduce physical failure 
which some like I believe like some uh, companies now SMEs or even startup companies it's really that they would have even uh, how say physical failures because now you don't have any server out in your home you just go on the virtualization and you get whatever you need of course that company is doing care about physical failure which it's really availability has been now increased maybe before it was I don't know 80 or 70 but now it became he can provide you 99.999 so it's five nines okay and the backup recovery which is working also always with the uh, disaster recovery guys just i'm telling you as advice backup recovery please invest in that never ever like how you say you try to keep some money for this okay because backup we don't give is something that you don't see it now but you will see it when there is some incident or some failure you will really uh, it's harming I, i'm telling you i saw a lot of companies maybe they could even shut down the doors because everything is like how you say they have it there uh, don't go so far your laptop if you don't have the backup fail how you say recovery uh, you will see the catastrophic when something happened to your laptop uh, we don't know i hope nothing will happen but now uh, even the phone backup it became something very important so no. so please 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 okay now we come back to the question we have said before what happened if we don't adapt any digital transformation okay can someone tell us like how you say what can happen yeah mm -hmm. for me i can say just in two words disappear from the market and i'm saying clearly disappear from the market you will not exist anymore okay and you will be pushed to get out from the market i don't say now okay there are other companies i will show you maybe maybe you can just write for me guys if you remember some companies which they were really wow in uh, some time before and how they became now okay you can just write it please on the message please i for i say ask uh, everyone and i say to to write it so i will just give you an example you remember guys about this one i'm sure like i say who were like maybe before 2000 uh, they remember it very well because this is it was one of our like pleasure things Where, wherever we go we have to buy it i think it was around 250 250 something uh, so that you have to buy it you cannot see the picture you take the picture and you will wait maybe until you go to take it out and later on you can find the surprise like getting out like this <laughs> it happened to me many times whether i'm sleeping or something else okay so uh, and also guys this company like i said before one of the good stories who created the camera with the i think you remember very well kodak kodak i believe everyone he knows very well so it was one of the company which they because they were making a lot of business from this okay and they never like i said think to move to the digital and the, the camera went around 2000 something like that one the digital cameras they started they had never like how you say like this idea because there were a lot of business coming from this uh Le uh, Le now so they were always thinking always about this one these films and they were like making a lot of business they wanted always to be there but uh, unfortunately if you don't adapt the digitalization they have been disappeared from the market in this product okay i'm saying clearly in the cameras and in those like films uh, even though they were the leaders in that timing okay uh something else like how you say the cassette everyone i believe everyone here remember this one always we had to reroute it back <laughs> so i believe it was very good story we had a lot of stories with this one no one he didn't have like how you say 100 uh, how you say tape with him like uh, to listen for all the musics but uh, we could see it when it came like i say starting from the apple what he has created in that timing uh, coming from like you know some digitalization where really they start to kill this product so any company who was still believing even they were the leader of that one in this okay and if they didn't adopt any digitalization they would like i say never ever stay in the market okay so it was like this one this is the best story of like i say ever so nokia like i said before nokia 33 uh, 3310 this it was uh in how you say around 2003 or something it was the leader of the market no one was whatever you are going to buy it was evident that you go to buy nokia okay nokia was like i say taking the market more than 70 percent 
you can imagine you are 70 percent in the international markets okay you are the leader of the world in this and because of let's say some idea to not change okay because there were a lot of things like how you say it it came in the timing where the blackberry it came like some like technology they started to uh, how you say appear in the market because they were of course the research of each company started from apple from samsung from other companies so nokia unfortunately missed the train in that timing okay i'm not the the the, the right person here to say like the story of nokia because i believe you can find it on google but unfortunately with uh, some decision mistakes and it was even though about the system used in the because there were symbian in that timing and how they were they wanted to use it and nokia how they went later on to catch up the timing they went with microsoft there are a lot of story but really guys i'm asking you please like i say really try to check about the story of nokia you will see it's really very good lesson for every company of course uh, we are talking about our level but this is good to know about the international level as well okay and the last thing of course is about the tape of videos so before there is like one company it was american company maybe we didn't have it a lot because for us here mainly like we were having just recorded movies but there were like an international company i forget the name of this company that it was always just like i say renting the films with these tapes until it came like you can see now netflix guys so netflix like when it came it killed like i say all those technologies now everyone uh, is going you want to how you say with 11 dollar you can get like whatever you want it you can watch whatever you want and you can see it who is going to use now those tapes so so when it came to digitalization if some like any company who was leader doesn't change you don't transform it don't worry unfortunately the time will move you from the market and this is the rule of the market so whether you always adapt yourself with what is the new coming uh, you have to invest on the let's say the research and to be also one of the leader in that for sure you will go we are having the best company which is like how you say we can take it as example which is huawei it was maybe like just some five years ago we don't even hear about their mobiles no need to speak about their telecommunication equipment but now you can see how they are uh, xiaomi like uh, about others like how i say oppo those only you remember they were almost not existing so the market is was only between samsung and the iphone okay you can see now how they became how is the market it has been changed so don't say ever also that now the market is already taken by those companies i will not be able to do it no your idea your thinking your digital thinking can make a revolution and don't say just like i always hear it we are in algeria no algeria also is one of the good countries guys believe me because the countries they are built by their the own people okay with their young and about your idea how you can go don't think like about like how we say the bureaucracies the things that they are in place take it as this is challenge okay because don't think you just started everything is there none of those companies they came just like that they had a lot of challenges in place okay let's move i think the time is getting out from us so now we talk about the framework and principles for the digital thinking okay what is the framework that you have to pass with it now you are having some ideas let's start it because you need to organize yourself it's not like just you come like this like i said before you want to be digital no you will start it with number one discovery and like how the empathies understand the human needs involved okay like try to look around you look around you look what is happening in the in the world look what is the change look you know try to to understand discover what is what is the things that they're existing and remember this my word start from the steps of others okay so just try to look sometimes uh, as you are like as an innovative person or you are having a lot of skills try to look first what is there what is not there what is working well what is not working well and then you can start like i say your steps okay so step number two which it is interpretation and definition okay so reframing and defining the problem in human centric ways what does it mean because when you take the, the problem don't take it as technical only 
many people they got like i say lost and they cannot evolve in the market because they are thinking only about technically how can i make the coding how can i make this you're right this is very important but you will see in my se second slide how the, the thinking it has been changed digital thinking is not starting only from the technical obstacles okay technical thinking now it's about how to introduce something to the human use because your customers, they are not robots. They are not, uh, how I say, different. They are human. They don't, they don't have your skills, okay, to understand the things. So how are you going to interpret for them, uh, interpret those products to them, okay? And we reach to the creating many ideas uh, in ideation section. What does it mean this? So we have to keep like how it's a lot of people. You sit together. Maybe if you are having your friends, some others, try to write more ideas. Don't just like take one idea. Okay, this is very good. I will go with it. No, try to make more ideas. Uh, discover them one by one. Try to make filters, some parameters. How can I like how you say adopt which one it is good, which one is not good. Make what is the benefit, what is the how you say advantage, disadvantage. Make list like that one for each idea. Okay. And uh, point number four is adopting a hands-on approach in prototyping. So a prototype is something important after the ideation because when you make the idea, you want to use this one. Of course, try to make prototype. Don't start from, let's say, we don't have to build our house. We have to make first, the like how you say, architect, go to the architect and make like, you know, the house, how it looks. Now they are even making it for you as 3D. You can see everything, remove the wall, but you're removing it just in one step. You can imagine, not like how you say, you have to destroy the walls. So this is the difference. So I know many people like how you say, they want to build their house. They just like starting building and halas, like a in Algeria we are having we are so much specialists so we should avoid this way no make your like I say prototype take your paper make like prototyping see what is there there are tools also special for prototype use them then after this one you can go for the last uh, how you say uh, point which it is how to make development of your prototype to be let's say as product and make your MVP so prepare your MVP prepare like how you can introduce to the market those things like really you should invest on them guys there is something it's very good you should know it invest on yourself how to build let's say your company or your idea or something there are a lot of training which they're online or even like how you say uh, sections they are like in the schools or those one i'm not saying go to one specific one okay but try to invest on that one uh, before for me it was something like i say halas i finished my studies in university forget about studies now it's only the work which it was wrong idea until now we are having let's say training in every month about something until now i'm telling you i'm more than maybe 10 years or 15 years like how you say uh, finished the lot of studies but still we are every day we are having like i say some training sections we are having something to invest on it we have like some personal skills also we need to do it so think about this one okay don't just make it as this is lost of money or something no this is something important you have to invest also in it as we are having how you say ai and we are having like emotional uh, intelligence you have to focus on it uh, we come back here, like I said, the word before I just tell you guys, before the project, it was starting from technology. So they were technology focused. Okay. As you can see, classical IT project. So before, whenever we want to create anything, we start, what is the challenge in the technology that I have to focus on it? Later on, the user, he should adapt it. There is no way. Okay. And that one, it was because there were not a lot of solutions. For example, uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, 10 years ago to create application, it was something very important. Not anyone, he can do it. So there were a lot of, let's say, one person, he focused only about the technology, how to make the application, whatever is the UI, okay? The user interface, they, they doesn't matter, but he should just get out with it, okay? Because the challenge, it was about the technology. Now it's totally inverse, guys. Reverse totally. Now your focus is about how the customer UI is. The UI is the most important. If UI is wrong, if you don't like give importance where unfortunately i can see it in a lot of mistakes is happening i'm telling you guys i saw it like lots of applications in algeria we are having there the ui is something like maybe we are always thinking about it as the last thing so please uh, let's work all of us about the quality of ui and if you don't know to do it it's not a problem just like i say get someone who is really expert in this domain and he can make it for you okay but think about ui think about quality okay quality is something important guys
and I hope like we really will see for sure there are a lot of people that I saw them also like in some uh, I have attended some of the sections which they are like uh, some competition they are really very good okay but unfortunately I'm talking about the 90% or 95% okay so I hope like we will have like uh, really to see more and more uh, things different now what is the principle so there are like six principles as like we are in pyramid so the first one is visibility and remember this word guys if you don't have good visibility where you are going you will never reach i'm telling you so visibility is something important okay and always make yourself when you make visibility you will make the timeline you will make when you are going to finish you make what is the things that you needed but you know where you are going like we say always in our proverb uh, tell me where you are going if you don't know your destination any destination is yours okay so it means that you don't know your way take any way you will arrive right because wherever you arrive this is you reach to your destination okay so think about it guys this one uh, okay now the second one is about experience experience doesn't mean that you should have 20 years to create application okay or to do any invention no experience it means that you will make it the first time it is not necessary that you should be 100 percent good okay but try it once two three times four times and then like i said of course there are like multiple times you have to do it limited but there are like how say experiencing the same thing you have to try to try try it until you reach it so and of course if you are having more experience this is very like helpful because the person who has more experience is always very investing like i say and uh, reducing the timeline for the the things then our like i said personalization and anticipation so this is something like i say important for any product and if we really ensure that all those like steps they are well studied well done for sure you will have the success it means you're like i said you are in the top of the pyramid okay now we go the same like i said trying we have tried to like just to change those six uh six let's say steps to go up to to the building of the blocks okay so we try to make it the, uh, the blocks where you want to construct your idea how you are going to make digital thinking so then you start with number one okay so we are thinking about number one so strategy and innovation focus on the future value and drive uh, how you say fuel it by experimentation then go to the customer de decision journey you remember i tell you always start from the top from the customer okay then what is the process automation and after this one how you can build your organization so it means that you put the process you make the organization what technology you are going to use to adapt with all this one and then data analytic okay data analytics so it means that you have to make uh, market studies like uh, all that stuff analyzing the data all what you are having so those steps guys it's going really to help you so much to build your company to build your organization and there are a lot of other like i say also steps is needed but this one is just kind of uh, we have tried to include what is the process that is needing or the blocks that you need to build your how you say your pillars now the future digital thinking we can find it everywhere guys in the driving medicines as you can see uh, uh, transportation smart home i'm sure if i will tell you guys like how i say digital thinking or digitalization is not going to be stopped at the end when i have like search i found that no limits no limits in the real meaning no limit no limits you can find it in a lot of things okay and it will never stop so that's why innovation is there because if there is innovation there is no limit limit and innovation they're always in not like how is it going together never ever they will go together okay let's come back to qatar okay we are having only three minutes i will try like i say to go quickly with one video i want to show you guys before the time is get out from us so of course i'm thinking about what is the technology used mainly we are focusing about 5g's iut and ai and cloud virtualization which we discussed about before so let's have please like i say this video okay so this video is going to talk about in qatar how it is going. Welcome to PECOM 2019. The latest advances in robotics technology and 5G gaming can always wow a crowd <laughs> or transport us to a digitized future. 
In this case, football fans are getting a taste of what's in store for the 2022 World Cup, from e-ticketing to hologram selfies with players. Beyond sports projects for what's being called a smart city, Qatar is working to transform itself into a smart country, to digitize and revolutionize the way transportation, healthcare, environment, and logistics are managed. Established businesses and startups from around the world are hoping to get a piece of the action. Farmbot is a 3D printing machine that's been modified to do gardening operations. So you can use it to plant seeds. It can do precision watering using the amount and specific location of water for each plant. It also does uh, moisture testing, soil testing, and it, it can do weeding. It has a smart vision camera that's able to determine what is a plant and what is a weed. Hundreds of initiatives will be picked up by Qatar's smart program, known as TASMI, which plans to spend $1.6 billion over the next five years to improve the quality of life. Another device that's connecting people to the services they need is the consult station. If you're sick, you can enter a booth like this one and be patched through to a doctor who will run tests and provide treatment remotely. The inventor says that it can be placed in shopping malls and in your apartment block, but it can also go to areas that are lacking access to public health care. We are talking with uh, Qatar government to deploy this kind of solution where people live, where people work, where people go, to make Doha the first connected health city on the world. Government officials hope such technology can reduce dependency on hospitals, shorten queues, and provide information that can save precious time in an emergency. There is a huge and always increasing demand for medical infrastructure. But no matter how, how much we increase that infrastructure, demand will always increase. Uh, but with the virtual consultation, people can actually connect to doctors from home without having to go to a primary care center. With so many smart solutions to our age-old problems, these new technological advances could help many here in Qatar and elsewhere in the world. Andrew Chappelle, Al Jazeera, Doha. Great. It was a nice video. So I hope like everyone, he liked it. So thank you very much, guys, uh, for your attending and for all this timing that you have spent with us. Really, it was wonderful. Thank you very much, guys. I hope like how you enjoy it. You learned a lot. We are also learning with you guys. So if you are having any question or anything you need, that's uh, more clarification. We are here. You our details also just i wanted to highlight that we are having some training they are special especially like how i said they are in place about how to build your companies all that stuff you can write to us via formation skylet uh, dash ds.com and, and uh, i would at the end thank again uh, algeria 2.0 teams for their effort great effort really they did so i want to thank them uh, specifically one by one and also for your time guys to attending and wish you a nice day thank you very much and bye bye